Hey guys, what is up? Snowflake here, and welcome to a new series I will be doing on my channel called Yu-Gi-Oh! Behind the Card, where I will be doing a deep dive into every single Yu-Gi-Oh! card ever made. Okay, maybe I won't get that far, but hopefully we'll have fun trying. Before we start, I'd just like to give a shout out to a YouTuber called TGS Anime, who does a YouTube, YouTube series called uh, Yu-Gi-Oh! Trivia, which heavily inspired me to do these videos. I'd also like to put a disclaimer in here. Uh, every bit of information I've got, well not all of it, but most of it, has come from the Yu-Gi-Oh! Wiki. But I thought instead of sending you guys over there to read all of that, I'll try and bring that information to life in video form. And I hope you guys enjoy. All that being said, as you can see, today's episode will be on Hitotsu Mei Giant. Yep, Hitotsu Met Giant, not Hitotsu Me Giant. Don't worry, I said it wrong my whole life as well. So did the Yukio anime dub. But yeah, that's your first bit of information today. So Hitotsu Me Giant is a level 4 Earth Attribute Beast Warrior type normal monster with 1200 attack and 1000 defense points. Its flavor text says a one eyed behemoth with thick, powerful arms made for delivering punishing blows. And you can quite clearly see on the artwork that it isn't lying. Those are some powerful arms. However, in the video games Yu Gi Oh! Resh F of Destruction and Yu Gi Oh! The Sacred Cards, it has a slightly different flavor text. It is a one eyed giant that pummels foes with its thick arms. And must be treated with wary respect. Moving on to the card tips. Here is a bunch of cards that can search your Tatsumi Giant from your deck. Those are Single Purchase, Temple of the Kings, Ties of the Brethren, Transmodify, Dragoons of Draconia, Soul Rope, Resonator Engine, Vampire Dragon, Sangan, Rescue Ferret, Rescue Rabbit, Princess Cologne, Unexpected Die, Painful Decision, Painful Escape, Minnow and Centaur, Summoner Monk, Dragunity Corsesca, Witch of the Black Forest, Giant Rat, Boxer, Frontline Observer, MX Saber Invoker, Brotherhood of the Fire Fist Tiger King, Fire Formation Tenki, Zodiac Broadball, and Last Will. Also, cards that can bring it back from the graveyards because it's a normal monster include Swing of Memories, Birthright, Soul Resurrection, and Silent Doom. Now we move on to the card appearances. And the first time we see this card is in the duel between Seto Kaiba and Yugi's grandpa in the first original manga. And then it is used again in Kaiba's duel with Yugi, where it is destroyed by Yugi's winged dragon. As you can see, the artwork of the actual card is derived from its appearance here in the manga. You can see the similarities between the two images there. In episode 1 of the anime, Kaiba also uses this card during his duel against Yugi. It's the first ever monster seen in holographic form in the anime, and Yugi destroys it with Winged Dragon Guardian of the Fortress, just like he did in the manga. Virtual systems ready. So let's begin. I attack with the mighty Hitatsumi Giant. Brace yourself, Yugi. You've never dueled like this before. Huh? This brought the monster on the card to life. It's my virtual simulator. It creates lifelike holograms of every duel monster. So this is how you beat my grandfather. Well, now it's my turn. I call on the Winged Dragon, Guardian of the Fortress. What? Monsters? Real monsters? Fireball attack! In episode 8, this card is shown in Mokuba's flashback when Kaiba's throwing his cards down in frustration. Huh? Seto? I'm not going, Mokuba. Not going? Why not? There's no point. And if you missed that, here is a freeze frame of that moment. And in episode 9, Ghost Kaiba also uses this card during his duel against Yugi. He summons it on the first turn, 
before it gets blown up by a dark magician. Guess I'll go first. <laughs> and I'll start off with the Hitatsumi Giant. <sighs> hmm, is something wrong? It's your turn to move, Yugi. The Hitatsumi Giant is how Kaiba began our last duel. There's a card just like that in my brother's deck. Hey, just because it's the same card doesn't mean it's the same deck. He's trying to confuse me by making the same opening move that Kaiba did, but it'll have the same result. I'll start with this card. Go, Dark Magician, with an attack strength of 2,500. Dark Magic Attack! So much for your giant. In episode 16, this card can be seen in Kaiba's briefcase when he takes our dual disc out from it and throws it to Joey. Is in any setting. Looks like just a regular old briefcase to me. It's in the briefcase, you moron. Similarly, in episode 26, you can also see it in Kaiba's briefcase again when he takes a dual disc and throws it to Pegasus. I hope you're ready, Kaiba. I've been looking forward to this for quite some time. Good. In episode 54, in Kaiba's duel against the duel machine, this card is summoned via the effect of Cyberjar, and on Kaiba's next turn, he tributes it in order to summon Dragon Seeker. Cyberjar! Monster, Cyberjar. Special Effect 1. Destroy all monsters on field. Cyberjar, Special Effect 2. Each player summons up to five monsters onto field. Set two monsters onto field. I place four monsters on the field! Fake! I sacrifice a monster to summon Dragon Seeker! In defense mode! In episode 99 in the Virtual World arc, four versions of this card ambush Taya as she's wandering through a desert. Although she nearly escapes it, one of the giants does block her path, and it's implied that they knock her unconscious. Everyone. And could it be any hotter? Huh? What was that? Oh! I'm surrounded! Just stay calm and back up slowly. In the next episode, in number 100, one of the Hitotsumi Giants, said it wrong again, Hitotsume Giants, is seen carrying an unconscious tear over their shoulder as they're taking her to their cave. In episode 101, Taya realizes the Hitotsume Giants are trying to cook her and eat her and she manages to escape with the help of a penguin, as the giants unfortunately fall to their doom. Man, this is definitely not my day. How am I going to get out of here? Wait, what was that? virtual world is supposed to be a total illusion. That's why I couldn't touch those flowers. So why does my face hurt? Oh, oh this place is a little too real for me. 
I hope the other guys are better off than I am. <laughs> Looks like they're getting ready for dinner. <laughs> Ugh, and I bet I'm the main course! I gotta get out of here, or I'll be Taya Soup! question is, who is saving me? Ugh. Guess I'll find out soon. Ugh. Ugh. I'm busted! Ugh. I made it! Ugh. Those one-eyed freaks are still coming! In episode 106, this card can be seen when Duke, Tristan and Serenity are building their decks, their duel against Nesbitt. It's time to build your decks for the duel. Simply touch the cards you desire. What should I choose, huh? First of all, trust your instincts, Serenity. And make sure you pick a nice variety of cards. You'll need magic, trap and monster cards for your deck. Uh, this? And this? And... oh, that one! Hmm. Well, here goes! Gotcha! Now it's time to choose... And if you missed that, here's a couple of freeze frames for you. In episode 109, this card appears in Lecter's flashback when he explains to Kaiba that his treachery began when Gozaburo gave him a large amount of money Test Kaiba's business skills. You'll stop at nothing to get what you want, Mr. Kaiba. Even if it means deceiving those most loyal to you. Your treachery began when your stepfather, Gozaburo, gave you $10 million to test. Now, I've tried to see the card in this clip here, but I'm not sure if I found it. I have got a freeze frame of what I think might be the card, but I'm not entirely sure. In episode 159, this card's shown when Weevil and Rex are taken to Paradeus' headquarters, where they appear to have every single card in the game. Right, Twerps. Time to build your new decks. We've assembled every Duel Monsters card ever produced, so have a party. We've hit the mother load! <laughs> we can take anything, right? Well, you can take anything except the Egyptian gold cards. Hey, what do you mean? No god cards! Look, if these cards aren't good enough for you, then use your own deck! Uh, <laughs> upon further investigation, these are perfect! King of Games, eat your heart out! 
Now choose wisely. You have a difficult task. Deliver to me the soul of the Pharaoh and his companion, young Joseph Wheeler. The Orichalcos is with you. Use it correctly and victory is yours. Yes! Unfortunately, as much as I tried to find it, I couldn't find this card. But if you guys can find it, then you've got better eyes than me. Finally, in a scripted duel in the North American World Championship Qualifiers of 2013, where Kaiba's voice actor and Pegasus's voice actor took part in the duel against each other, Kaiba special summoned this card in attack mode, thanks to the effect of Cyberjar. Kaiba then used the effect of Castle of Dragon Souls to raise its attack by banishing a blue eyes white dragon from his graveyard, but eventually Pegasus used Smashing Ground to destroy it. On a side note, these scripted duels in random events are pretty fun to watch, so I might leave a link to that in the description below as well. You've attacked my cyber jar! Now all monsters on the field are destroyed! Then, we each flip the top five cards of our decks and summon all monsters among them. I was getting tired of my wind-up warrior anyway. Let's see which new toys my deck has in store, shall we? I'll special summon my Hutatsumi Giant in attack mode and add the rest of the cards to my hand. Pegasus, look at my monster. Are you two related? It has the same number of eyes as you. Even with one eye, I can still see your defeat. It looks like I got my third wind-up rabbit. I'll special summon it to the field alongside my wind-up dog. Next, I'll use the effect of my Castle of Dragon Souls to banish a Blue Eyes from my graveyard and raise my Hitatsumi Giant's attack points to 1900. Now it's stronger than both of your monsters. Your Hitatsumi Giant may be protecting you for now, but it won't for long when I enter my main phase 2 and then activate Smashing Ground. Smashing Ground destroys your monster, so say bye-bye to your eye. I'll say and finally, we wrap it up with some card trivia. Hitotsume Giant is the first monster that Seto Kaiba ever uses, excluding Season Zero. And the Japanese name of Hitotsume Giant is Cyclops, which is named after the one-eyed giant in Greek mythology. Funnily enough, the English version of the card, Hitotsume Giant, is named after a Japanese yokai, or a ghost, called the Hitotsume Kozo, which are one-eyed yokai, or ghosts, which take on the appearance of a bald-headed child with one eye. Hitotsume Giant has a cyber version called Cybernetic Cyclopean. And you can also find Hitotsume Giant in the artwork of Cost Down. For your convenience, I've circled the part of Hitotsume Giant which you can see in the card. Yeah, and you can also see the attribute and level matches that of the card. And that is it for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. I plan to do some more of these in the future. But for now, hope you have a great day, and I'll see you soon. Take care.